morning, everybody. It is actually Friday right now, and I am, this is my morning commute. I'm headed to work. Do you remember a few weeks ago when I went skateboarding? Goose is trying to get some video for him, so he gave me his board to ride. I don't know how this is gonna go. This might not go very well. Well, just in the 10 or so minutes I was skateboarding, I bailed. <laughs> but I didn't hurt anything, so that's good. I was wrong. I have actually dislocated a tendon in my wrist, and I'm having surgery today, later today, to get it repaired. I'll tell you more about it later. So apparently there's a ligament that goes across from your hand to your wrist that stabilizes the movement. And when I fell off the skateboard, I dislocated one side of the ligament. I don't know which one, but they have to repair it. Repair it. I have a metal rod to keep my wrist stable, and I'll have a cast on top of that. Recovery period, six to eight weeks. All right, very short morning at work. I just came in to tie up all my loose ends for the weekend, and now I'm heading up to the hospital. <laughs> For posterity, it's the last time that my wrist will look like this. I assume I'll have a scar on the back after this is all said and done. I'm not really opposed to scars though, as long as, you know, everything works okay. I got a scar right there on my, my other forearm, I don't know if you can see that. Check out that video there if you want to know how I got that. It's a pretty good story. Not in service. That's what I need. That's cool. All right, this is the place. This is where I'm getting my surgery. I'm going in. I, it's a hospital, so I assume I won't be able to film that much, but I will keep you guys up to date as much as I can. surgery. I'm still a little woozy, but luckily Katie Mac is here to help me out. He's okay. But she told me I look like crap. <laughs> he does. He looks like crap. Here's my arm. I literally can't move it. They did a nerve block and so it's just a big hunk of dead meat hanging off my body. But I should be able to leave here soon head back home and then just sleep. All right, I am back in my apartment. Luckily I had the, hind or the foresight <laughs> to install my AC unit yesterday. Prior to this whole thing, I knew it was gonna be warm today and I knew I wouldn't be able to do so, so go me. Um, I just need to eat a little bit of food and take some paid medication, and then I am going to bed. It is now Saturday morning, and uh, I'm venturing outside. I got my arm splint on. Feeling good. I've been taking the uh, pain medication that they gave me, so my, my wrist doesn't hurt too much. But uh, I'm going to go pick up the rest of my prescription, grab some lunch slash breakfast, and then uh, I'll come back here and explain all of this a little bit more, since I definitely could not do that last night. See you in a second. All right, I went and got some breakfast, and if you've ever had surgery, then you know that you can't eat or drink anything like eight hours beforehand, depending on the surgery. And then they won't feed you or let you drink anything immediately after uh, for fear of it nauseating you. And so I am still so thirsty. I've chugged like four bottles of water all last night. Um, so this is gonna help. Um, I briefly explained yesterday, earlier in the video, um, why I needed the surgery because I fell off my skateboard and it uh, tore a tendon, um, I'm sorry, a ligament. And um, it's good that I got this now. Most people, when they have those injuries, they think it's minor and they wait 10 years or so. And then they end up with horrible arthritis that is irreversible. So I got this now. The, the doctor said she repaired the, uh, the ligament, or she 
mended it, and um, hopefully I'll uh, get full full uh, stability back and uh, all will be good. So, um, I'm sure you have a few questions. First being, where did you get that awesome hat? It says check out Jacob, or check out my weekend on it. Um, I ordered a few hats, this was one of them. I also have a snapback version with the same graphics on it. And one that just says, check out Jacob. So I won't be selling these hats, maybe in the future, I don't know. I'm not gonna be selling these in case you missed it in a video from a few weeks ago. Um, I said that if you find a sticker that I put up, um, one that I put up somewhere, there's a few around the world, but if you put up, find one that I put up and take a picture next to it, hashtag check out Jacob and tag me um, on social media, I'll send you a hat. So <laughs> there's not very many stickers out there. There's maybe 10 at the most all around the world. Most of them are here in New York City, but if you find one, you get a hat. And uh, the easiest way to figure out where they are is to just go back and watch my videos. I know there's a lot of videos, but if you've been watching for a while, you may remember where and when I put one up. I've already discovered a few things that this is going to make very difficult. This is my dominant hand. This is on my right hand. Um, and at least right now, until for the next two weeks, until they take off the splint and put on a cast, um, it's, it's not very useful. So I, just as I was getting breakfast, I realized that uh, when I have to sign, when I'm using my credit card and I have to sign, I'm not very good with my left hand for that. I just look like scribble. Uh, and putting on clothes and that kind of stuff, wiping. Next time you go to the bathroom, number two, obviously, try to wipe with the other hand. See how it goes. It's going to take practice. <laughs> I'm sure I'll discover other stuff that's been made difficult by this, but all in all, it's not that big of an inconvenience. And like I said, it's going to make my wrist hopefully back to normal in six to eight weeks. Which leads me to the other big thing I want to talk about. The second week of August, I am flying to San Diego. I'm going to rent a car, an RV, I haven't decided yet. Um, maybe a camper van. And I'm driving from San Diego to San Francisco over the course of 10 days. I'm taking a massive California road trip and I'm super excited about it. And unless the doctor says for some reason that this I can't because of this, it should be healed at that point. But at the end of that road trip in San Francisco, I'm going to go bungee jumping, which I'm super excited about. But prior to that, 10 days of a California road trip. So if you have any advice, if you say, Jacob, you have to do this in this place, um, let me know in the comments below. Tweet at me, do whatever. Um, and if you live in California, maybe I'll be driving through your town and we can meet up. Who knows? But I'm super excited about that. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've been to California a few times, but only um, each time has only been for a day or two. So I've never really had the, the chance to really experience California. As I mentioned in the last video where I went to, to Beacon and to Bannerman's Castle, um, this next weekend, a week from now, I'm supposed to be going camping. I'll have to see what the doctor says about that. <laughs> but um, I do definitely want to go camping and I will be going that morning before on a super, super exclusive tour of Grand Central Station where we go in the sub-basement um, and up into the rafter area above the big hall. So that's gonna be great. Um, and I think that's it. I Today is Saturday, so I'll probably cut this video here. And if I do anything else today, it'll be in the next video. I'll start another vlog, but it's Memorial Day weekend. I got a long weekend to recover, but hopefully, this won't keep me inside too much and we'll get to do something fun this weekend. So as always, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing me uh, do all of this. And uh, I asked the doctor if she would film. She said no, but oh well. Um, thanks as always for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. will be good. Um, this, what do I want to say next? So,